Did you know that you need to pass the dose calc exam in order to stay in your nursing program? The dose calc exam is one of the first exams that you're gonna take in nursing school, but don't freak out. I have got you, my friend. Here is the full guide to getting every single dose calc problem right on your nursing school exams. Let's do it. So most nursing schools require you to get a 90% or a 100% on your dose calc exam. That is normal. And most nursing schools will give you a second or a third time to pass. So it's really not as bad as everyone says. So breathe, my friend, don't freak out. You're gonna be okay. Now remember, nurses do this every single day and you need to get it 100% right every time in real life or people can die. So it's really important to get them all right. Now I've seen nursing instructors teach dose calc in a lot of different ways and so many of them are really confusing, require some serious memorization of different formulas and stuff and they're just simply not helpful. You'll either forget which formula to use for what problem or the formula might not even work for the question the exam is asking you. This happens all the time so don't waste your time memorizing a bunch of formulas. That's why I created a simple step-by-step -step process to get every dose count question right. I also have some really helpful tips for you to help you pass along with practice questions. So stay tuned, we will go over all of that. So let's walk through the steps here first and then I have some practice problems for you as well to help this all come together. So stay tuned, we're gonna get to that, all right? But let's walk through the steps first so you understand those and then we'll move on to some practice problems. So step number one, figure out what unit you need to end up with at the end. What is the question actually asking you for? It's really important that you do this first or you will end up with the wrong answer. Is it milligrams, grams, drops per minute, milliliters per hour, a uh, number of tablets? Figure out what the question is actually asking you to solve for. Now step number two, figure out what the prescriber ordered. What is the original order that we're trying to convert? Now step number three is to decide what conversion factor factors to use in the middle. What medication or unit does the question make available to you? Are you needing to convert grams to milligrams, minutes to hours, milliliters to drops? Now I have a super helpful cheat sheet for these conversions. I will leave the link in the description below for you to snag that. So be sure to get that after this video. Now, as you go through your conversions, pick out the information that relates to the answer you need and cross out any unnecessary details. If the test is on paper, I like to actually physically cross out information uh, I, that I do not need to make me distracted with those unnecessary details during an exam, right? So cross it out. Now step number four is to solve the problem. Multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom, and then divide both of those numbers. This is a super awesome math trick that does the conversions for you. And one of the top reasons why I love writing out dose calc problems this way, it makes it so, so easy to get the right answer. This process will not lie. As long as your units cross each other out, you will get the right answer period. Now step number five is to write the answer appropriately and follow the correct rounding rules and the rules around the use of zeros. Now don't round the answer until the very end. And remember this mnemonic, nurses are leaders, not followers. Now this means that you include leading zeros, but not trailing zeros. Now step number six is to check your work, of course. It's really important to check that you got it right because we all make mistakes sometimes, but the patient's life could depend on this. So it's really important that you need to be diligent and double check your math. So take a step back, breathe, and do the problem again. Safe nursing practice is always your number one priority, right? So check your work. Now, all right, here are some key dose calc tips that you have to know to pass your exams, all right? Number one, make sure that you read the entire question first before you do anything else, really the whole question. Don't even try to solve it after the first sentence. Like pause, stop yourself, read the full question. It is so easy to assume that you know what the question is asking you for when really it's something else entirely. But you wouldn't catch on to that unless you actually read the entire question in the first place. So when you sit down to take your exam, make sure to read the entire question 
first, the entire dose count question first before you try to solve it. Now, the second tip is to learn the must know dosage calculation conversions. There is no way around it. You have to memorize these like one milligram equals 1000 micrograms, one liter is 1000 milliliters. So when you sit down to take your exam, the exam will not have these written anywhere. So you need to learn them beforehand. Now, I already mentioned the super helpful cheat sheet, but we have these awesome dose calc flashcards inside of the nursing school dose calc box to help you learn conversions faster. So we've already included the must know conversions, including grains, which many nursing students forget about, but it often shows up on the exam. So you have to know it. So the link is down below for you to check out the dose calc box too. Now, the third tip is to do as many practice questions as you can. Seriously, all of them, all of the time. <laughs> practice, practice, practice. Do all of the practice questions your school gives you. Now, if you're a nursing SOS member, do all of the practice questions in the dose calc course inside the nursing SOS membership community. The more you practice, my friend, the more confident you're going to get. It is as easy and simple as that. Practice, 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 and the better your chances of passing the dose calc exam will be. Now click on this video here for some practice problems to help all of this come together and go become the nurse that God created only you to be. And I will see you in that next video.